Are you a content creator looking for some awesome effects for your YouTube videos in 2019? Then Production Crate is right for you. Use the link in the description below and get a membership for only $49 per year. And get unlimited downloads of awesome effects. Make it awesome, you guys. Welcome everyone to a brand new series. In this series, I'm going to teach y'all how to create, how to make a survival horror game in Unity 3D. Which, so without further ado, let's get started right before getting this video. Make sure if you're new here, please subscribe with the notification bell button. Smash a like on this video if you're excited for this series. Um, what you're gonna need is Unity 3D 2017 or higher. If you don't have Unity, there will be a link in the description below for y'all to go get it. Once you got Unity engine up and running and you get signed in, make sure to create a free account because it will require a free account. And, um, through the additional processes. Once you get this window right here, which is at the project, got one for project name and the location. And also, so it will also have enable Unity Analytics and 3D, 2D, and this button right here it says an asset pack package. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna rename our top project name. I'm gonna rename this one to. You can call it whatever you want. I'm gonna call this JM Game Dev Kit version 0 0.1. And we're gonna make it 3D because we're doing this in 3D. My location is Downloads Game Dev Projects. I created a folder we call it Game Dev Projects. And we're not gonna use in the Unity and Analytics because we're not doing monetizing the game. You only use this feature if you're doing it for mobile mobile devices. If you hit this question mark, you'll be collecting your project matrix benchmarks against similar projects and insights into player behavior. No additional SDK integrations are required to get started. So we're not gonna do that. Once we Got a project name. Make sure you hit the new. Name your project. Make sure it's 3D is ticked. And once you satisfy your photo location and name, just hit create project. And we'll relaunch. Um, it's it just calculated the hashes. It's now important. The small assets. Got to do all this stuff. Now it's re serializing assets. Then we'll, it will be. As of that, we'll, we'll be launched into our project. Once we're in here, once we're in here, we should have this here, which is by default, which is our scene view, which is where we'll be doing a bunch of creating, dragging and dropping into stuff like assets. Then we got this game tab, which is the game view, where you can play the game. Do a little like basic testing. Make sure everything works great before releasing it to websites like GameJolt, Itch.io, NDDB, 
and other stuff and other places like consoles. Then we got the asset store. The asset store is great to help you get started with your projects. For this, we will be, later on in the series, we'll be using some assets from the asset store. We're doing free stuff because anything we do here is free. Also, you want to learn more about Unity? Go to the link in the description and subscribe to Jimmy Vegas. He does awesome tuto Unity tutorials as well. And what you're seeing is this is the new Unity Asset Store. Then we got the hierarchy, which is like we can go, example, if we go back to scene, scene view, if I go right click, 3D object, and cube, everything will be added in here. It will, if we add a cube, for example, it will be in the scene view. And then the same view will be added to the hierarchy. So we're going to delete that for now. Then we got our project tab, which will, which will have folders of different things like assets, music, scripts, scenes, textures, a bunch of more and stuff like that. Then here's the console tab. Like, if we go right into sheet, do some coding and we, once the code once we save the script and UD gives recognizes an error it will show up in the console or a warning it will tell this word in the script it will tell us to go to and fix that then we're gonna have have the um, animation tab which, which you can create simple animations like opening doors, animate a logo, animate an image, anything you can animate. Unity is like is a game engine, but you can use it for different things like movies, anything. Then we got an inspector panel. If we click on an object like the main camera, it will show up in the inspector panel it'll give us these different things we have gives us give us uh, like details of what the camera is using so so let's get started um so we're gonna have we're gonna add it to rain first before we get started let's add a simple terrain or, excuse me, we scratch that. We're gonna add a cube. We're gonna go to our game object, create three, we're 3D object, and we're gonna select a cube. Now, we, up here, we got different tools. We got the move tool, hand tool, the move tool, the rotate tool, the scale tool, rec tool, or move, rotate, or scale selected objects. If you select this one, we can rotate it on the z-axis, we can rotate it on the x-axis, and rotate it on the y-axis. So we're going to set the rotation back to zero, which you can go to the inspector panel, make sure you selected the cube, inspector panel, rotation, zero, zero, zero. Up here in our scene view, we get the x, y, and z axis. So we're gonna make this as a floor. We're gonna rename this one to floor because we're gonna make a building from scratch. We're not gonna use a building from from the SS store, not in this introduction. You know what? Um, let's go ahead and use a building from the asset store. So we're gonna go to our asset store. Um, I'm gonna type in building. And we're gonna go to pricing on the right hand side. We want free. 
Um, the one I you um, want to use is is an open building worn. This is be like a good one to use. It's got five star rating. We're gonna go ahead and import that. I already downloaded this June tenth. Alrighty, and we're gonna import all. Alrighty, so once our once the assets finish importing, we might when they go to console, it will get some errors. We're gonna clear that out because we don't worry don't worry much about it. Now we're gonna add a plane, which is we're gonna go to a great game object, three to object, then terrain, not plane, terrain. Go to our game view. We're gonna adjust our camera. I'm not gonna talk too much because I'm gonna run, run my mouth. We're gonna drag now we're gonna drag drag and drop this building right in there. All right. That's what it looks like. Alrighty. So we're starting off with basics. We got a terrain in. We add our, our first asset, which is the build from asset store, the open building worn by Dr. Bean. We we import it into our project. We drag and drop the building into the scene. Now in our next tutorial, we'll go we'll go for more where we're gonna make our terrain more beautiful. We're we're gonna bring in our asset. For an asset store and make it more beautiful, more, you know, more pizzazz to our game. So, thank you all, thank you all very much for watching. I'll see you guys in a brand new tutorial. Oh, and stay awesome. Oh, but right before I end this video, make sure we hit our file, save scene as. This is important. Each time you go to edit something, make sure you say to say, make sure you save it. Um, we're gonna create a new folder. We're gonna call it scenes. Open. We're gonna rename this one to level one. There we go. And save it automatically. And file and save project. Thank you guys very much for watching, I'll see you guys in a brand new tutorial.